Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Google Search News series. I hope life is treating you reasonably well wherever you are. I'm your host today, John Mueller, here from Switzerland. With this show, we want to give you a regular summary of what's been happening around Google Search, specifically for website owners, publishers, and SEOs. If you find these useful, which I hope you do, and if you'd like to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's been two months since our last update, so without further ado, let's take a look at what's new and interesting in the world of Google Search. Today, we'll take a look at Google Webmasters, um, Google Search Central, Search Console, and we'll be catching up on other stories, plus a bunch more. Off we go. We recently changed the name of our work to connect site owners to Google Search from Google Webmasters over to Google Search Central. Fewer and fewer people identify as webmasters, and it's hard to focus on just one particular role given all of the people who help make websites successful through search. The name change includes our social channels, in particular, our Twitter account, and of course, this YouTube channel. With this change, we're also taking the vast amount of content available for site owners regarding search and both migrating it to a central location and improving it for the new context. This includes many articles from the Search Console Help Center, as well as thousands of posts on the Webmaster blogs across 13 languages. Moving the blogs also helps make the localized versions of posts easier accessible, which is fantastic news for the large parts of the world that don't speak English. This has been a gigantic undertaking, and there's still much more left to be done between moving the content, updating it, and localizing it all. To help us, our Googlebot mascot has gotten a cute little sidekick, a spider. We don't have a name yet for the spider, but perhaps you have a suggestion? Let us know in the comments below. Unrelated to our name change, there's also a new team at Google who's busy creating content for all of those who love and work on the web, the Web Creators team. You can find them on the Google blog, on Twitter, YouTube, and even on Instagram. Woohoo! Go, web creators! Moving on to Search Console. One of the updates from Search Console is that we've temporarily had to disable some functionality in the URL inspection tool. In particular, this affects the ability to request indexing for URLs directly for Google Search. We're currently working on the infrastructure behind this feature to help make it more robust for you and your site. We realize it can be frustrating when you want to make updates as quickly as possible in Search, so we hope to have this back for you soon. In the meantime, we strongly recommend using the usual methods for helping search engines find and index your content. This includes making sure that your website is correctly accessible, that it links prominently to new pages, and that you use sitemaps to let us know about updates automatically. Even when the request indexing feature is back again, we strongly recommend using these methods for normal site updates since they're scalable and automatic. We briefly talked about two other stories in previous episodes, and I'd like to give you short updates there. On web stories, we're starting to see some fantastic content being created, which is being highlighted in Search and now in Discover as well. If you use WordPress, definitely check out the updated Web Stories plugin, which makes creating nice stories extremely easy. We've been updating this plugin over time, so it's worth trying it out again if you use it in the past. Also for Web Stories, the Web Creators YouTube channel recently published a video on how to best do SEO for Web Stories. Remember, Web Stories are also normal HTML pages, so everything you might have learned about SEO applies there too. I've added the links to the description below. And then there's Core Web Vitals and the Page Experience Ranking Factor. We talked about these previously as well. The update here is that there's now a date for when this factor will be active in Google Search, namely May 2021. This still gives you lots of time, but being quick and making your site fast will, of course, benefit your users, so don't put it off for too long. 
As an aside, someone outside of Google recently compiled a spreadsheet with lots of tools for Core Web Vitals, as well as some case studies that could be useful in getting this work prioritized. It's linked below as well. And now for a short update on events. There haven't been any in-person events, obviously, but online events can be useful too. Here's a sample of some of the events you might be interested in reading up on or watching videos about. Search on. Every year, we make thousands of improvements to Google, from advancing our ability to understand language to new features that organize the information in useful ways. The Search On live stream has some interesting news on how Google uses advances in technology to improve Google Search. Check out the blog posts and videos linked below, in particular, the new hour-long video on how Search works, which is long and insightful the Newsgeist virtual event. The Google News team held an interesting event full of discussions and deep dives on a variety of topics involving news websites. If you're keen on news about news, be sure to check out their YouTube channel, which has a lot of the recordings. While on the subject of videos, we've also been busy here on this channel. Just to mention a few, we have videos on doing SEO for e-commerce sites or even for governments. If you use JavaScript, there's a video on SEO for single-page apps. Some of the names have changed with the rebranding. For example, we now have Ask Googlebot instead of Ask Google Webmasters. On the podcast side, we've released a number of episodes, including one with our tech writer who managed the big site migration, as well as one with someone who works with the Web Stories plugin for WordPress meeting people in podcast format who work on things you also work with can be quite fun. We've all been working from home for months now, so you'd think we'd be used to it by now. Ha! Well, at least for me, and maybe for you as well, these times are still hard. With the holiday season coming up, it's not going to get any easier. But hang in there. I have a feeling things will get better next year. If you'd like to chat about Search in the meantime, feel free to drop by in one of our office hour sessions. In any case, I hope you, your family, friends, and coworkers are all doing as well as possible given the circumstances. And that's all for now, folks. Thank you for joining us here. If you'd like to see more of these episodes, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to add them right here or reach out to us on Twitter. I look forward to seeing you all again in one of the future episodes of Google Search News. Bye.